Hey guys, good morning. I just wanted to do a quick update on this week's watch list and give you my thoughts on the market. So the first thing I wanted to show you was this kind of megaphone pattern that we can kind of see on ES, right? You can see this was what's used as support, resistance, support, era, resistance, resistance, and boom. This is where, you know, kind of had the end of the day bounce because this was where you had that bullish divergence with this being used to support. And right now you can see overnight that we did go hit the top of this channel and now we're come back down. So here's the thing, right? I'm watching to see as long as it stays below 3950, I'm primarily monitoring this to be a wave two before we come down for a three, four, five, right? And we hit the edge of this trend line and basically a mean reversion back to the channel, right? The scenario number one I am watching. Alternatively, even though it's Monday, right? Something I want to point out is whether you're bullish or bearish, this can be, a, even if we do break higher than this, this is your wave four, we finish a wave five and you will still have, you know, an ABC retracement before you move higher. So I think I'm watching this area to see whether we reject directly and see if we make the higher low, right? I'll discuss the higher low here. You can see another view of this channel is that it has been used as support and resistance. And I am watching to see if this is just an expanded flat, right? If you do a wave, I mean a fib all the way from the top to the bottom, you can see we stopped at the 1.23 fib and had a solid bounce. So this can, again, a healthy retracement, whether you're bullish or bearish, right? To 3890, 3880 is pretty healthy, right? Before you have a 345 to the upside. So that's definitely something I am monitoring, right? I'm not too bear biased. I'm watching to see which way the market leads the direction. And as I mentioned, this megaphone pattern is pretty interesting to watch as well, right? A fake breakout can still come back in before you move higher, but primarily I'm watching to see if we just go to reject it and come back down. So those are kind of the two scenarios I am monitoring, right? Alternatively, I wanted to just give you another view where if you use this trend line to support and resistance, you can see we broke down from it, right? Came back in and you can see what was previously supported starting to act as resistance. So as long as we stay below 3930 on a daily close, I still think it's bearish. So that's just something I wanted to point out. So let's go through this week's watch list, right? The first thing I have is coin. And the reason for that is it's sideways and a flag, right? So for me, I would wait to either it breaks downwards, right? Or it's gonna break upwards because you can see it's been in a flag since the 13th, so almost seven days of consolidation, which means that if it breaks out, it's gonna have an explosive move on either side. So set your alerts, right? You can see a break of 61 to the downside will give you at least 53, right? A break of 71 will give you at least 85. So that's the reason I have coin. It's in a nice consolidation pattern and the minute it breaks, it's gonna make a nice move to either side. The next one I have is ABB We. The reason for that is ABB We has, you know, been sideways for a few weeks, right? If I go to the four hour chart, you guys can see that it had a massive sell off. Where did it bounce off of? It bounced off this channel, right? That was previously support, broke out, had a move, came back to retest the channel. Obviously, it was going to bounce off of there, rejected the four hour 200 day, and now it's just kind of been sideways. So that's the reason I feel if ABB week can break below 147, I feel like it can test 135 at least, right? I feel like it's coming down for the C wave. So that's the reason I have it for this week's watch list. The next one is FL. There's a lot of, you know, puts on foot locker, and you can see it rejected the 1.23 FIB. So as long as it stays below 34, right? I feel like this chart is still valid and can still go higher to 37, but I wouldn't, you know, wait on it. For me, you can see my levels. If it breaks below 31, right? Right now, that's the level is here, right? If it breaks below 31, then I think it's headed to 28 and 25. If it breaks below 34, I can definitely see 37 before it comes lower, but there's a lot of bearish flow. So you can start positioning yourself for a longer put swing. So the next one I have is Airbnb. So this is kind of iffy, right? Again, Airbnb would need to see over 110, right, for it to go to 120, 125. Again, this is dependent on a lot of things, not very high probable, but I just wanted to have a call swing on there in case the market does, you know, flip bullish. And, you know, like I said, if it has a fifth wave higher, Airbnb is likely to, you know, complete 120 or 125 relatively soon. So that's the reason I have Airbnb on here. If the market is bullish, you can definitely play calls on this. Otherwise, please avoid Airbnb. So the next one I have is Goldman Sachs. The reason for that is you can see that this is kind of the channel it was in, right? All the way from the top to the bottom. This is kind of the channel Goldman Sachs has been in. So for me personally, if it can break over this high at 
you know, I had 310 as my trigger, right? And it's clearly broken over that pre-market. So I'd say wait for 315, right? If it breaks 315, you have a direct short of running the 322 and at the top of the channel at 328. So that's kind of what I'm looking for, right? Channel surfing. If it cannot break over this previous side, please, you know, there's no point in playing Goldman Sachs. You can play some of the put plays on here. All right, the next one is cave up. So this is very interesting. The reason for that is you can see this blue trend line has been down to resistance all the way from November, so almost six, seven months, right? So as long as it stays below the blue blue line, it's likely to sell off, right? So that's the reason you can see I have puts below 26, right? Like it could come fill this gap at 24.83 and probably go slower, right? But if it does break over 29.5, you can see it's clearly broken a massive downtrend and it's likely to have a very upside move. So same as coin, you can watch to see which direction we break before it makes the move. So the next one I have is TTD. So we were bearish on TTD, right? For a long time, and it hit our 35, almost 35 target or it bounced out 36.6. The reason for that is also the bottom channel. So that's why it had a lot to work. So for TTD, again, if it breaks the high of, 55.5, then it has stands a shot at hitting 64, right? Just channel surfing up and down. However, if it tries to break this low of 49, it's definitely, you know, gonna come back and see 40 at least. So those are my bull and bear scenarios. I kind of had on TDD, the last one is CCJ, right? So I do have this as a way for it, where for it can go a little more higher. So that's why it's, you need to wait for it to break 23, 22.5 before you can play the fifth wave down. So I do have puts. Right, but please wait for a confirmation. Again, you can see bigger picture. CCJ has, you know, broken out of this channel, right? Try to, this was the fake break, went for a new high. So it kind of tells you the first fake break before the last high is usually the top. So that's the reason I have puts on it. And that's my watch list for this week. Again, you can play any of Apple, Tesla, any of those two, but again, monitor 3930 on the ES. That's very important, right? You can see this is kind of the megaphone pattern. That's what's important for Monday, at least. All right, guys, thank you so much. I'll see you guys next week.